Right then, hello and welcome back to Ford Racing. Gonna carry on now with the main career and the next season coming up is of course the Ford Taurus. We're gonna be in the Ford Taurus NASCAR-esque vehicles. Uh, they, again, like the rest of the cars in this game, they really don't look lo nothing like their real life counterparts, but we'll just roll with it. Uh, we have nine races on this one instead of the usual eight. It goes up in increments of one from here on out. So it's nine for this one, 10 for the uh, next season and 11 for the final season. So we start as always, March 19th, Willowdale 2. Uh, before we do anything, though, I've got 40 grand in the bank, so I will go and uh, upgrade the car as much as we can. Uh, brakes, I'm not going to worry about so much. Racing gearbox, yes, please. And um, we want the uh, aerodynamics kit. Mm, yeah, might as well. Uh, this is pretty much going to wipe us out completely. We're going to get racing suspension, then we're going to get the engine tune up 59 grand or 5900, I should say. And a racing engine as well. I don't want to worry about the uh, the last upgrade because it's just a qualifying engine. And then the weight loss as well. Yes, our car does need to go on a bit of a diet. And yeah, there we go. That should be everything. And we're only left with uh, 400, uh, 4,600 credits. So yeah, completely wiped us out, but that's absolutely fine. So uh, race number one then, Willow Dell 2. And uh, yeah, hopefully this championship shouldn't go you know, too bad. Um, we should be able to win a few races at least. As long as we're leading the championship at the end, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, we're going to skip qual- actually, mm, I will take part in qualifying once. Just to, uh, just to see if we can actually do a good job in qualifying, which I highly doubt. Yep, car doesn't really want to handle that well. But then I didn't get the tire upgrades because, it, as I mentioned before, the tire upgrades don't really upgrade the handling. It's still just as very floaty and understeery as I go completely off, so this lap is going to not count. So we're just going to have to have a good run for the final lap. Come on, stop understeering, get a move on. Oh well, almost at the end of the first lap. I will try and do both laps as clean as possible. Well, obviously not the first lap because I botched it already within the first couple of turns. Last corner, and I'm going to go wide. Not quite. So this will put us in a lovely sixth position. In the time of a 134. Oh no, we're in fifth. So there's someone slightly worse than me. Come on, pick up the speed. I don't know why I didn't downshift into second. Okay, that was mm, not great. We we're six seconds up on our previous lap time, so that's cool. Come on, turn, turn your bloody thing. Seven seconds up. Alright, last corner. We can nail this, we should be okay. Not going to get pole position though. It's going to be a bit of a tall ask. Well, we cross the start finish line with a time of uh, 126 2, so we get third. Which means absolutely nothing, because you don't get any money for it, so, yeah, no worries. 
So uh, starting in third, uh, Roth is on pole position and Leone, Leone uh, is uh, second. So yeah, race number one then. Four laps. Two, one, go. Right, Mr. Roth, bugger off, please. Now, this is not going to be a walk in the park. Especially with the spot champion or spot races coming up later as well for the, uh, the cash prizes. Now, with a racing gearbox, it certainly doesn't like to downshift. I mean, it would if I had manual transmission, but... Ah, too lazy. I mean, if this game had more of a sim feel to it, yeah, I would have used manual. But, nah, it's only an arcade racer, so I don't really need it. It's not like games like Rage Racer, where some of the cars are only manual. Now, the only downside with these later championships is that you get more races, but it feels more like padding. It doesn't feel like progression. It's just the same tracks that we've already raced on before, but, you know, more, more laps, which I suppose is good. But, yeah, after a while, after racing on, you know, just a handful of tracks over and over again, it does tend to get a little bit on the monotonous side. Okay, that was a better turn one. Looks like we are pulling away. Only a little bit. That corner catches me off guard. Come on, turn. Turn. Come on. Be like Travis and turn. There we go. What a timely music reference that was. Only 20 years a bit late, but oh well. Now, I do know that adding all the upgrades to the gearbox and everything else, it just means that I can play with the gear ratios and this, that, and the other. It doesn't really make the car accelerate any better. Not really. But I just put it on there anyway because, you know, it makes the smallest bit of difference. Right, well, this is good, though, because we are pulling away. I think that is Roth that is still in second. See, that was a pretty good turn one. Why couldn't I do that in qualifying? I do like the fact, though, that the back of the car has that little black box, which is supposed to be the... Uh, the camera that they have on the old NASCARs back then, when they used to have the bumper cam. It was just like a little box with a tiny camera in the middle of it. Now, there is one car that I'm really not looking forward to, and that is the championship after this one. We will be racing the car, of course, in the money spot races, but it's not great it doesn't handle very well it likes to spin a hell of a lot and uh, yeah it's just not a fun car to drive and that is of course the uh, ford mustang it sounds good though i will admit it does sound very nice but handling wise no it's a, a typical muscle car where it doesn't handle well at all and it just likes to spin on you Okay, final lap, and a lap time of 126.041. So you're two seconds, well, almost two seconds slower than the fastest lap time at the moment of a 124.7.
as the music fades out and then fades back in again because, of course, they didn't loop the music back in the good old days. Okay, a very strong start. We're pulling oh, about a two second gap. Which, to be honest, I didn't have any, you know, optimism with this championship. I thought it was going to be a pretty tough one, but in the first race, hasn't gone too bad. So there we go. First blood to us and race number one. Eight more to go. And we pick up our first victory with another fast lap time, 123.8. So, not a bad way to kick off the good old Ford Taurus season uh, with a fastest lap time, and I led every single lap as well, so that is not bad. We won in the end by 3.1 seconds over Roth, which was the pole sitter, so he gets an extra couple of points as well. And uh, Leone with uh, six points in third place. Not bad. So that is another four grand and a couple of extra pennies as well for the fastest lap time. Takes us back up to 9,200. Um, I don't really mind as long as we break even come the end of the championship, get another 40,000 in the bank, then I know that, you know, this championship will be worth it. And then we don't have to go through this championship again to get some more money. So anyway, strong start then, 19 points over 13. And we're back to Mesa Verde then. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this one because uh, it's a short track. Four laps this time, though, so shouldn't be too bad. 4,200 for a race win. Uh, I'm not going to qualify this time because it was pretty much useless. And we'll just start and see how we get on. Two, one, go. Oh, come on, get out of the way. Don't block your line. You know, the colorations that they used on these cars, oops, kind of reminds me of the IROC series. Or the International Race of Champions. That uh, used to be sanctioned by NASCAR. All the cars identical except for different colors, with the name plastered on the side. And this is the worst start possible, unless I can keep doing that. Just barreling up the inside. Use you as a barrier. Which didn't really help. Okay. Not bad. Catching up slowly. Oh, that was perfect. That was a very good corner. I want that 4,200. Nope, too far back. I thought I was going to be able to clip him, but... Okay, two laps down, two to go. There you go. Push him out wide, Mr. Roth. Oh, go away. The only problem with this game, the main critique, is the rubber banding. As you've seen, is very evident on this game. Right, go on, bugger off. Get off the circuit. Go away. Nope, that didn't work at all. In fact, I lost positions. Oh, come on. Only got a couple of overtaking chances to go. This one down here, if I can squeeze up the inside. Nope. No, you don't. No, you don't. 
Sort of. No, it looks like I'm only going to settle for second place on this race. Oh, uh, well, that was a shit. I did come close, but obviously not close enough, so Roth does get the win. The lucky swine. Um, yes, yeah, so that means we might be tied on points. Hmm, possibly. Oh, no. Oh, well, we didn't do too bad in the money stakes, but yeah, 32 points each. I'm still leading the championship. As we go to the first of the money races and look at that circuit map. Willow Dell 4, the longest track in the game. Uh, we're up to 12,100 credits though. So that isn't all too bad. Um, yeah, we got to uh, pay 3,400 to enter this event. But if we win, we get 8,500 back. So mm, very, very, very nice if you can win. But these cars, not the greatest. So... Uh, We'll just try our absolute best and, you know, see if we can uh, win. That's all we really can do. And away we go. And here we go then. At least they gave us a nice livery for this one. Nice red, white and blue. Sadly though, liveries, nice ones, don't uh, really account for car handling. I wish it did. Because this car is not nice to drive, it understeers, it oversteers, the brakes hardly work. And when they do, they make the car slide and spin you around, so yeah, you've got to be very careful. And the AI on this one, particularly, are incredibly ruthless. As you'll see, they'll bash you out the way, they'll dive up your inside, they'll use their good old rubber banding to good effect. Come on, get around, stop understeering, get a move on. There we go. And of course, this is only a one lap shootout, so you've only got one chance to win. No second chances. Now, just because I pulled a tiny lead doesn't mean nothing. They will catch up when we get onto the second part of the lap. Yeah, he's right there, Mr. Roth. Sounds like I'm saying Mr. Roth with a lisp. No, I can hear him. I don't want to give him the opportunity to get past. Last corner. Oh, have we done it? Oh, it was bloody close. Oh, we've actually done it and got the victory. Nice. That is what I like to see. That was incredible. I mean, you could see on the little minimap how quick uh, Roth was compared to the other drivers. Always up our chuff, but oh well. A win is a win. I will take it. That is a, a nice hefty chunk of change we get the fastest lap time as well so that's an extra 800 credits on top of the uh, money we did win the 8400 and a total of 18,000 which is what i really like to see anyway so we got another three normal races then uh, at willowdale one long valley one and mountain ring and we're back to the uh, next of the spot races uh, and then we have uh, an endurance race at willowdale three and long valley two a normal race as well so uh, we have two endurances coming up, actually, at, at Mountain Ring and Long Valley, or sorry, Willow Del 2. But we're back in the good old Ford Taurus. And this one shouldn't be too bad. Willow Del 1, a fairly uh, easy circuit, even in these things, but we'll see. It is such a shame, though, that the spot races don't give you points to go towards your championship. They are just there purely to get a bit of money. But, oh well, let's see how we get on. And off we go.
Culinary surprise, Roth wasn't on pole position. Now, I think the rest of these races should be fairly okay to win as long as, you know, we're not going back to Mesa Verde or Mesa Verde or however the hell you want to spell it. Because um, that track is just way too short and way too narrow. You don't get the acceleration out the corners um, like the AI can exploit. So you're really stuck lagging at the back. And Mr. Roth takes a lead by force. Of course he does. And look at the acceleration. We have all the upgrades on the car and look at how fast he accelerates. No, you can start off as well. Jesus Christ. I'm going to try and dive bomb it. Okay, that sort of worked to medium success. Now remember, when all else fails, use brute force and ignorance. It always works. Not that much, though, because they are right on my chuff. We've got a lap and a half to go. Alright, that's it. Go back. Okay, one lap to go. Hopefully we can do it. Just another 40 odd seconds. Oh, 44 seconds exactly. Perfect. I do like it when uh, lap times are just flat out. So right there, dropping back a little bit. So I think we got this race. So we should uh, well and truly take the lead back of the championship standings and not be tied with Roth. And there we go. That's how you do it. With uh, a bit of uh, brute force by pushing the other drivers out the way, which is always welcome, especially in cheating games like this. So uh, yeah, Roth was second and gets uh, 12 points this time which is uh, a shock, but uh, yeah, he does lead one lap. We get 19 points though, so an extra 400 credits for the fast lap time as well. 22,600, which is not bad. So we're almost back to breaking even with the money that we had coming into the championship. So we're leading now, not by much so, 51 to 44, and there's still quite a few races to go. Uh, so Long Valley one then, it's another normal race. So that means it's a three lapper. And we'll just get on with it. Stop dilly dallying around. This video is going to be long enough as it is, especially when adding the, uh, the qualifying lap like I did before. So, yeah. Let's just uh, try our best. Go! So we can dive up the middle. From a good start. Roth again, not getting pole position. I'll take the inside from you. Of course, we have the upper advantage on this track, only with the chicane that they slow down for. Oh, cheeky gitty, pushed me into the bloody dirt. No, Roth, you can sod off. Seriously, Roth. I'm losing my patience with that bloke. Or it could be a woman, I don't know. Just look at the acceleration he has on everybody else. Well, that's fine. We'll just take the chicane flat out. We 
which is our main weapon for this track. Okay, lap number one, two to go. Oh, someone's come a cropper. Look, there's someone right at the back. About like half lap behind, so he must have either spun or uh, it's just not very good. Yeah, I can I can bloody hear you, you can sod off. No, you're not gonna push me off into the dirt, Mr. Roth. You're trying now. We're in your draft, how can you pull away? He must have the super duper deluxe edition of the engine or something, I don't know. Okay, one lap to go. So again with this track, it doesn't matter if you're not leading as long as you're leading after the chicane, which you can take flat out and they have to slow down for. And then that usually sets you up quite well for the last two left-handers, which then you can take the win. If you don't screw it up. And when the AI aren't a bunch of cheating bastards, but there you go. Here he comes again. At least he's not going to push me wide. No, he should go and take the outside line. Of course he is. Not today, Zerg, but he's got past anyway. Yeah, that was my fault. I tried to cut that corner a bit too tight and clip the dirt embankment, so that set me back a bit. That's fine. Flat out through here, thank you very much. Last corner. There we go. Nice, and another victory. Hooray! Take that Roth, you git. So, uh, fastest lap time as well, 110.9. So, yeah, not too bad. Um, I'm going to quickly let this replay run through so I can get a, a decent thumbnail. So, I'll see you in just a moment for the results. Not the best track to get a good replay on, but oh well, not to worry. So we get the fastest lap time as well, so we get an extra 400 credits for that. Uh, Roth, again, was second, but only gets 11 points this time. Um, so yeah, the point system on this game are a little bit weird, but you get an extra point if you get uh, if you lead a lap, I think. Uh, lead all the laps, you get an extra point. Fastest lap time, you get a point. I, I don't know. I don't know. And an extra point if you get pole position as well. Something like that. Anyway... We're going to the Endurance end. I'm leading 70 to 55, so only a 15 point deficit between myself and Roth. And again, the Endurance. Good old mountain ring. And this is going to be for five laps this time. So, yay. Hopefully, it, I don't think this track, it lasts too long. They're quite, you know, fast lap times, so. Anyway, let's see if we can win another race. Increase our championship lead. And off we go. Squeeze up the middle of everyone. Roth again, not on pole position. Which is fantastic. Oh, Greenie's coming up on the inside. There's Roth in fourth. Break late. Squeeze me. Let me guess, Roth is in second. No, the greenie is still there. Roth is trying to get past her. I right, just got a knuckle down, put me head down, pull away from the pack. Don't care if I go a bit wide, it doesn't matter.
Again, as long as I'm leading by this point on the last lap, then I should be fine. And that is one lap almost complete. With a lap time of a 128.964. Bit nervous to look behind me now in case Roth is second. Nope, Greeny is still there, so that's good. He's holding him up. Now, ideally, I want Roth to not score any points whatsoever, so anything fifth or below. He won't get any points, but that is not likely to happen. He's really pushing the green car, though. Oh, corrective oversteer. standards in this game, so it's all good. In fact, I think that helped us a little bit. Greeny is still holding up Roth. I don't know the name of the bloke who's driving the green car, so he's just going to be Mr. Green. Oh, here they come. No, Roth. Roth, go away. Damn it. Oh, well, that didn't work. I was trying to squeeze past and push him out of the way, but no, that completely failed. And probably the, uh, the race victory as well has gone down the drain. Oh, and of course, Roth is trying to get up the inside of the green car. And he will succeed, of course. Yeah, there he goes. And this doofus needs to get out of the way quickly. He's not even in the running. Oh, the green car is fighting back. Come on, Greeny. We can get him. I will take the scenic route. Give Greeny a bit of a push. I push Roth back. Talladega bump drafting, but really, really badly. Nope, you can go away. That's it, drop back a bit. Greeny, you get past, thank you. Oh, this is very intense. Greeny, I don't mind if you get past, it's fine, because I can take you back later on in the lap. Roth, you can really sod off. I right, dive up the inside of you. This is the biggest lead that we've had. We've opened up against second place. And it's not that big. They're just there. But I hope Greeny does keep second place. The more opportunities Roth fails to score maximum points in second place is uh, going to be a good welcome bonus for our championship hopes. Cheers for the nudge. 
Oh, he's trying bloody wrath. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. with another victory and unfortunately Greeny doesn't keep his part of the bargain and finishes in third but there we go that is the uh, first of the two endurances done and we get another maximum points so yep, skip the replay please don't want to worry about any of that and uh, we led every lap but we didn't get the fastest which of course Roth gets of course, you can't have, you can't just have a good fastest lap. No, Roth has to get. He's like a, a child, a very spoiled child. I want the fastest lap. I want to lead. Go away, you horrible, horrible child. Thirty-one thousand, though, so we're very close to uh, getting back to where we were. Eighty-seven to sixty-eight, so we have a nineteen-point advantage, but that is still not enough. He can catch up and uh, whoop our backsides. Anyway, we're going back into the dreaded Ford Mustang. Again, 8,500 for a race victory. I think it was 84 for the uh, previous race. Willow Dell 2, it's another four lapper. So we'll just have to try our absolute darndest. When the game eventually loads, of course. Ah, uh, no, we don't want to worry about qualifying. So uh, of course, Roth is on pole position. Of course he is. Anyway, let's get this race sent underway. And go. Now I'm going to try, try and push Roth out at the very start. Well, that failed. Okay, then ignore what I said. I think the best chance is to get him during the hairpins. here. Just push him out really, really wide. Even though I don't really know why I'm pushing him wide, because again, you don't get any points for these spot races. It's just literally for money. So uh, that was pretty useless, but oh well. Shouldn't dent our chances of taking a victory. Oh, only when the car understeers, of course. No, you don't. Oh, thank you for the nudge. Now, this shouldn't be too hard because I did push Roth out the way, so the slower cars are taking advantage of that. But again, they are a little bit slower. So we should have just a, a you know, a microscopic 0.1 of a percentage chance to, uh, to win. But... You never know. Unless that is Roth that has just got passed, but I don't think so. Never can tell with these bloody stupid cars. Yeah, go away. Just do us all a favor and naff off, thank you. Oh, not bad. Nine seconds up on our previous lap time. That's pretty good, but I doubt very much I'm going to get the fastest lap time. Which again, with the spot races, 800 credits. So really, I should be going all out to try and get the fastest lap time. But it's so bloody difficult to do with these things. They just don't handle properly, don't grip very well. see just the slightest bumps can get the rear unsettled and you try and spin and ugh. Okay. 
Okay. Time to put in some good laps, I think. Come on, give me a nudge. There we go. Nine seconds up, 121.3. Nope. Seriously. Oh, God, the bloody fenders. The, the collision detection in this game is like when your fender reaches theirs, your car comes to a dead stop and it, you know, it's like you've hit a brick wall to some extent. down on our previous lap time. Yeah, go on, sod off. I clawed back a bit of time on our previous lap, but not enough to uh, guarantee another fastest lap. We're going to try on the last lap at least. Okay, it's all down to this then. Final lap. Botch turn number one, so that's not a great start. Uh, luckily, Matey was there to give me a push. No, again, point eight of a second down. The mu some of the music tracks on this game remind me of the old Demo 1 discs. Back in the good old days. Oh, don't go wide, come on. And I believe... By a Nats pube, we've won another race, and we get 8,500 for the victory as well. Do we get a fast lap time as well? Uh, yes, by 0 0.1. 121.282. .2. Not bad. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't think it's going to be the fastest lap time, though. Uh, oh, it was. Okay, okay, I'm happy with that. So we led uh, all but one lap, and we got the fastest lap time as well, so that's an extra 800 credits. 37,300 and we still got two races to go so we should definitely break even on the money that we did have of 40,000 before the end of the championship so oh Willow Dell 3 back in the Taurus six laps this time for the uh, next endurance the uh, penultimate race of the uh, championship as well and uh, yeah this one's gonna meander on quite a bit so once again, the usual suspects are on the top row. And away we go. me. I do the same to you as well. Excuse me, kind of.
That's one lap down. Just got to keep clean and pull away. 130.7. Mistake, excuse me. Again, I try and cut the corners as deep as possible because the car understeers. But occasionally I misjudge and go into the wall and... Uh, and because of that, my little lead that I did have is now... Nothing. Literally nothing. Sod off. For some reason, they do struggle around that last parabolica esque corner. We can pull out a little lead. It shows everywhere else I seem to mess up and screw up and we're able to uh, catch back up pretty easily. There we go, that's better. That's what I tried to do on the previous lap. Only having moderate success this time. And again, wide. On the same on every lap so far. At least I remembered on that corner it's the second right-hander that is a sharper one. Still there, Mr. Roth. We still have three laps to go. And a 124.3. Now, hopefully, by winning this race, that should guarantee the championship for us. Not always a guarantee, though. That means wherever we finish in the last race, it should be enough to win the championship and move on to the penultimate season, which again is, of course, the Ford Mustang. So that's going to be great fun. He's still there. Well, that's a bit better. Two laps to go.
Right, at least I didn't go over the grass this time. Cut that corner a bit. And it looks like we've increased our lead just a smidge over Roth. Caught back up a bit, but I think that should be enough to win as we are now starting the final lap. And again, still not beat the uh, fastest lap time at the moment Fast as that now, just to get the extra pennies. And we're up by point four. At least we get another victory, so this should cement our championship hopes by quite a large lead. And we get the... No, we actually didn't get the fastest lap time. Lost it at the end by 0.2 of a second. So, boo. Oh, well, not to worry. Roth was, of course, second. Of course he is. Uh, but I do get the fastest lap time, so that's an extra 400 credits. And now we're surpassed. We've surpassed the uh, 40,000 that we had. So that is cool. And 106 to 81, uh, there is no chance he can catch up now. So, great, we can just uh, saunter on through this last race and uh, get it done. So, of course, this is the usual Rallycross stage, which is incorporated into the main track. And uh, what was the name of the bloke there in pole position? I didn't quite catch it there. It looked like Excelsior or something. Well, four laps and it'll all be done. Go. Okay, Roth. Go away. Go away. Let Greeny and Excelsior win. Actually, I'm not going to let him win, of course. I'm going to win. I do like that deep maroon colour in the lead. It's quite nice. Alright, Roth, are you still there? Yeah, he's being caught up by the blue car. Excuse me. Excuse me, I said. Bugger off. Oh, NASCAR's on a dirt stage. It will never work. You'd have to be absolutely mad to think NASCAR would race on dirt. It's a gimmick. It will never happen. And yes, I am being facetious. I do know about the Bristol dirt races, so... Roth, can you piss off? Seriously. Alright, back on. Good old tarmac.
Now, of course, I do want to get the victory. I don't want to let Greeny win. But at least I know I've cemented the championship, so I don't really care where I finish. But again, I do want as much money as possible as well. And Roth is slowly catching. Oh wait, Roth is actually getting past people. What a shock. Roth, go away. you thank you oh my word this car understeers like crazy on this dirt These cars definitely not suited to these conditions. Oh yeah, it looks like Greeny is still second. Roth is third currently. And uh, Excelsior, or whatever the hell his name is, is uh, currently fourth. Roth is going to get past Greeny again. We all know this. But so far, he is holding his own. Yeah, come on, give me a nudge. No, I'm not having this. Roth, go away. Just slow him down as much as possible. Oh my god, why am I slowing down too much? Oh yeah, because I'm on the uh, wrong type of dirt on the side of the circuit, so of course it slows you down. Excelsior, again, I couldn't see his name properly, but whoever is in fourth at the moment, trying to pass Roth. Oh, he didn't do it. See, where the hell does Roth get all that speed from? It's bloody stupid. You annoying freak, just go away. I'm getting a friendly nudge from behind. Roth, again. Try and go away, please. Ah, good. Excelsior's got passed. I will correct my uh, name uh, for him once we get onto the standings so I can see who exactly is driving that maroon car. And the green car as well.
I'm going to keep calling him Greeny and Excelsior because it's just wrong. So Greeny is definitely going to get the second place. What about Excelsior? Uh, yeah, it looks like he's going to get third. So Roth is going to finish fourth, which is absolutely wonderful. So yeah, don't have to worry about that. Let's just get on to the standings and check out the names. So Greeny then is, uh, oh, that's Leone and uh, Excelmans. Okay, I was saying Excelsior. I wasn't far off. And Roth only gets 8 points, but we get the fastest lap time as well, so we get an extra 400 credits. Takes us up to 46,500, and we win in the end 141 to 89, so yeah, I'm dead chuffed with that. And we get an extra 8,500 for winning as well, so uh, season total is 57,200, uh, 57, and uh, total money at the moment is 55,000, so... Yeah, not too bad. I could go through that season again, but I really don't want to. So I will be back next time then for the penultimate championship season, which is, of course, the Ford Mustangs. And uh, yeah, I will see you then. So thank you very much for watching. As always, we're almost at the end now of the series. So yeah, look forward to that. So take care, stay safe, and bye for now.